Good evening, Jason. Well, that's right. It wouldn't be Arizona basketball this year if in their biggest game of the season, one of their most important players of the year goes down with an injury. It's really been the same narrative all season long for Arizona basketball. And as the guys told me after the game, it's just next man up. That's been the mentality all season long, and that didn't change tonight. We hung in there. Uh, it was a really uh, like a microcosm of our entire season. You know, Raleigh Alkins dislocated his finger on his shooting hand. I mean, Kadeem dislocated his finger and, you know, it popped out a couple weeks back. Going into halftime, we know we weren't playing our best basketball in the first half. And, you know, coming out in the second half, we just kept confidence and kept playing the game and, and just kept battling it out. I got a little bit more comfortable when the game went on, but I just tried to be as physical as I can. And we got some stops, so thrilled to be playing. And we beat a really good team tonight. Nobody knows that more than the three of us. And move on, they do. Arizona will move on into the Sweet 16 for a date with Sean Miller's former team in Xavier. So I don't think we'll have anything to talk about next week. But after the game, I asked Alonzo Trier if he'd had any time to celebrate the fact that they are moving on and advancing to the Sweet 16. And he told me no, because all of you guys have been in here. So hopefully by now he's had a chance for it to uh, sink in and enjoy the fact that they are moving on. Jason. Thanks, Erica. Good job this week. Come on back. And here's why the Wildcats will play Xavier on Thursday in San Jose, the Musketeers